Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So by far we have come to the almost end of the road and there are very few topics left for me to go ahead and complete this tutorial. So uh, the, uh, in of these few topics I will be covering cryptography and database and session hijacking. So what exactly is cryptography? That is the first thing. You may have heard in movies about the encryption and decryption process or in lots of movies or spy movies you may have heard that this file is encrypted we need to crack it and something or the other thing like that. So what exactly is cryptography? In movies they have actually gone way too far ahead and shown a lot of things that's not actually possible in reality. But reality is not that different as well. Cryptography is where security engineering meets mathematics and it's get quite a hell lot of complicated over here. It provides us with the tools that underlie most modern security protocols and it is probably the key enabling technology for protecting distributed systems yet it is surprisingly hard to do right. So as we have seen previously protocols cryptography have always been used to protect the wrong things or they are used to protect them in the wrong way. So we will be seeing them in this tutorial today. So in this tutorial I will be teaching you what is cryptography exactly, its history, what are the basic uh, four parts of cryptography, algorithm, strengths, encryption, decryption keys and the advantages and disadvantages in the end. So to start with cryptography there are always two parts, uh, two main parts one is the encryption and the other one is the decryption. So um, I will be giving you more examples uh, as we go ahead and start looking in detail at real applications. Unfortunately, uh, the computer security and cryptology communities have drifted uh, like way too far from each other over the last few years. So security people don't always understand that the available crypto tools and crypto people don't understand the real world problems. There are a number of reasons such as different professional backgrounds, computer science versus mathematics, different research fund fundings and besides that government have tried to protect or promote computer uh, security research while suppressing cryptography. So it reminds me something of um, uh, a story told by one of my medical friends. He is in medical and uh, he told me that uh, when he was young he worked for a few years in a country where for economic reasons they had shortened their medical degrees and concentrated on producing specialists as quickly as possible. One day a patient who had both kidneys removed and was awaiting a transplant needed his uh, dialysis uh, shunt ridden. The surgeon sent the patient back from the theater on the grounds that there were no urinalysis on the file. It just didn't occur to him that the patient with no kidneys could not produce any urine. So just as a doctor needs to understand physiology as well as surgery, so much a security engineer needs to be familiar with cryptography as well as computer security and much with cryptography as well. So I won't be teaching you cryptology and these two are two different things cryptology and cryptography. So I won't go much into mathematics today and I'll just be explaining the basic institutions and constructions that seem to uh, be the most cause of confusion. If you have to use cryptography in anything reassembling a novel way then I would strongly recommend that you read a lot more about it. Computer security people often ask for the non-mathematical definitions of a cryptographic terms. The basic terminology is that cryptography refers to science, an art of deciphering or designing ciphers, cryptanalysis to science and art of breaking them. While cryptology often shortened uh, to just crypto is a study of both that is cryptanalysis to science and designing ciphers. So the input to an encryption process is commonly called as the plain text, the output is called as the cipher text. And thereafter, things will get more complicated as I continue with this tutorial. There are n number of cryptographic primitives, basic building blocks such as block ciphers, stream ciphers or hash functions. Block ciphers may either have one key for both encryption and decryption, in which case they are called as the shared key. And it can be again a secret key or symmetric or asymmetric or they can have separate keys for encryption and decryption in which case they are called as the public key or asymmetric key and thereafter we will have a digital signature uh, scheme uh, which is a special type of asymmetric 
crypto primitive and in the rest of this tutorial I'll give you some fine historical examples to illustrate the basic concepts of cryptography. Then I'll try to fine tune definitions by introducing random oracle models uh, which uh, many crypto cryptologists use. Finally I'll show you some of the more uh, important cryptographic algorithm uh, how they actually work and how they can be used to protect data.